place value up to 10 million. In this nugget, the learning objective is to recognise place value up to 10 million. This is 10 million written in digits. All the digits in this number represent different values depending on where they are in the number. We can use place value grids to help us recognise place value. This grid goes up to the thousands place. This grid goes up to the ten thousands place. This grid goes up to the hundred thousands place. And this grid goes up to the millions place. Let's look at place value represented as cubes in a model. This is one cube. Here we have ten ones. Ten ones is the same as one ten. Now we have ten tens. Ten tens make up one hundred. And ten hundreds make up a thousand. Now we'll just shrink our thousands cubes to help us visually understand the value of ten thousand. Ten thousand is ten thousand. And ten ten thousands is one hundred thousand. And finally, ten hundred thousands is one million. So now let's look at a seven digit number represented with place value counters. This is the number 2,121,341. We can look at each digit's value, starting with the millions. 2 million can be represented with 2 millions place value counters, so the value of the 2 in the millions place is 2 million. 100,000 can be represented with 100,000's counter. 20,000 can be represented with 2 10,000's counters. 1,000 can be represented with 1,000's counter. 300 can be represented with 300's counters. 40 can be represented with 4 10's counters. And 1 can be represented with 1 1's counter. When the number is split up in this way, this is called the expanded form. You can add the numbers in the expanded form to get the original number. Now it's your turn. What number is represented by the counters? Write your answer in the expanded form. Pause the video and have a go. Now let's check the answers. Well done if you got 4,242,201 as the answer for the number represented by the counters. You should have checked the number of counters for each place and used this to find the digit that goes in that place. For example, there are 4 millions counters so the number 4 goes in the millions place. The question asked you to write your answer in the expanded form. You should have written 4,242,201 equals 4 million, add 200,000, add 40,000, add 2,000, add 200, add 1. Multiply the value of the counter by the number of counters to get the value for that place. For example, the value of the digit in the 10,000's place is 10,000 times 4 equals 40,000. Note that there is nothing in the 10's place, so this is represented by a zero in the number and is not written at all in the expanded form. Your turn again. For the first question, which digit of each number is in the millions place? For the second question, what is the value of the three in these numbers? Pause the video and have a go. Now let's check the answers. For the first question, you needed to look at the millions place to find the correct digits. Well done if you said that 8 is in the millions place in 8,538,362. 6 is in the millions place in 6,518,362. And 7 is in the millions place in 7,195,278.
For the second question, you needed to find the digit 3 in each of the numbers and then look at its place value to determine its value. The 3 in 9,537,295 is in the 10,000s place, so the value of the 3 is 30,000. The 3 in 3,118,446 is in the millions place, so the value of the 3 is 3 million. Finally, the 3 in 4,356,582 is in the 100,000s place, so the value of the 3 is 300,000. So remember, make sure you understand each place up to a million. The value of each digit is what it represents. The expanded form shows the value of each digit in a number.